Welcome everyone, I'm the Woo here. 44 days that I've only consumed water. No milk, no juice, no tea, no coffee, nothing but good old H2O. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. That's a pretty nice snap. It's the Daily Woo. I had thought about cashing in the changes in this five gallon bucket. Nickels, pennies, dimes, and the quarters in the smaller bucket. But I've decided I'm gonna combine the two, just keep it in my van, then when I get to my sister's in a few weeks, I will leave the bucket there. When I go on any road trips or if I fly anywhere, whatever I do, I will accumulate my change in my bag and then when I get back to the bucket, I will dump it in there. I have this weird goal about filling this entire thing up with change. I feel like I need a funnel or something. It'd be a lot easier with one. If you look in the back of my van back here, you'll see there's a few items that I am taking to donate to Salvation Army or Goodwill, whichever thrift store I find first. I'm just gonna drop it off. It's things I'm not selling on eBay, it's things I'm not selling locally, just little knickknacks and whatnot, things that I don't even wanna mess with. It's getting down crunch time. Two weeks from right now will be my departure from California. And it's very, very cloudy again today here in SoCal. I guess I've been in California for long enough to be able to refer to Southern California as SoCal. I don't know if that's allowed or not. You have to be a native, but it's very overcast today, which I guess kind of fits the mood because as excited as I am to leave, it's kind of sad to get rid of stuff memories that are going away, but there is no progress without change. And that's what's happening now. Change. Goodbye stuff. It's a nice little body of water there. Of course you got to be careful because you could contract West Nile virus. These mosquitoes. Funny thing is Florida has 1,614,000 000 times the amount of mosquitoes that California does. So we might be all right. We might be safe. Knock on wood. Are they painting the grass? Am I seeing this correctly? Are they painting the grass? California. Five minute parking? What if I'm in there for seven minutes? 7-Eleven don't play. I gotta make this fast. Yeah, we all know that's not true. I've started buying the larger waters because I drink a lot of liquid, whether it be soda or coffee or all that in the past. Now that I'm drinking water, I consume a lot of it. And the little water bottles just do not pull in enough hydration for my nether regions. But I gotta drink this fast because I can't sit here very long. Five minute parking! Five minute parking only! See, they're yelling at me. Drop my van off real quick. Now I'm about to hop in an Uber, go to downtown Disney to eat an early dinner, late lunch, early dinner, meeting up with some friends. If you've never tried Uber, use my coupon code. All you have to do when you order an Uber is use the code Uber, A-T-W-U-E, and you get a free $15 ride. Give it a shot. Take a free Uber on me. What do you guys think of that hat? 
not only that hat, but this hat. Ah, downtown Disney. You see this traffic driving underneath this overpass? Do you know where this leads? Do you know where this traffic goes underneath? It goes underneath downtown Disney right here. Did you know that you walk over traffic when you are at downtown Disney? There's the monorail, the Lego store, and straight ahead, there's traffic underneath us. And feast your eyes on that. House of Blues is no more. No signage, not even a shred, a hint of the past. Downtown Disney has gotten rid of House of Blues. You cannot walk up to these ticket windows and purchase tickets anymore. Look at this, non-existent. There's a relic of House of Blues right there. Sadly, I never went inside there. I've been to the one in Orlando a bunch of times. In fact, I was in bands that played inside House of Blues in Orlando, but never been to the one in Anaheim. I waited too long. I waited too long. Let's go in here for a minute. Wonderground Gallery. What are your guys' thoughts on Hipster Mickey? Dang, these are pretty cool. Tomorrowland Pillow. I always like this cardboard peach dragon. Pretty cool. You ever notice how places are completely obsessed with playing copywritten music? I'm here to pay a visit to a guy named Joe, a guy named Tortilla Joe. Yeah. So here at Tortilla Joe's, they make fresh guacamole in front of your face. I don't even like guacamole normally, but I like it from here. I do not get guacamole anywhere else except from here. Um, I'll take medium. I want mild, as but mild as it comes. Want mild. Yeah, so they'll make it any way you want it. They put all the little goodies on top of it. Oh man, we got some chips. Got a full, full table here. There it is. Thank you. The guacamole is done and ready to be consumed. Pretty excited about this. Being a non-guacamole fan, I'm pretty excited about pretty on the guac. Tortilla Joe's guacamole. Fresh, homemade, well, restaurant made <laughs> guacamole with a huge fork in the middle of it. Trying the guacamole right now, ready? Go, 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 go. Mm, that's pretty good. Looks good, right? It's pretty dang good. What was that slogan you just said? He said, Tortilla, Tortilla Joe's. Joe's. What doing. Well, drop the knows what you're doing. Just say, Tortilla Joe's knows. <laughs> you should you should pitch that to them. Tortilla Joe's knows. That's it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat some of this. You guys want some? You want some of this? Want some of this guacamole here? Look, <laughs> look at how wonderful that looks. Is it focused? Can they see it? No, it's focused. Oh, good. Guacamole this good does not... <laughs> it doesn't get out of focus. Get out of focus. <laughs> You know what it looks you know what my guacamole looks like? It looks like Cubert. Like from this angle, it looks like Cubert. You know, remember Cubert? Yeah, it looks like Cubert. Oh, uh, the sizzling fajita. And look at this. These are the, the rice, the beans. Oh my gosh. This is definitely not good for my diet, but it is definitely good for my attitude. And your soul. My soul, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, what'd you get? Crispy beef taco. Crispy beef. And I can say, you think we like the guacamole? No. Does anyone, does anyone like the guacamole? Uh, let's send it back. And what'd you get? I got a chicken enchilada and a crispy beef taco. That looks good too. Oh, what'd you get, Mike? I got tacos de pollo, which is chicken tacos. Street nice. tacos. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Are you making the straw grow? It's a worm. It's a yes. worm. Whoa. I haven't seen someone do that in a long time. It looks like... You know what it looks like? It looks like that dragon from Never Ending Story. Right? At the very end when he flies away from the bull or chases the bullies. And he's finally and free. And he's like, yeah, he's like riding right on the head of it. It looks like the dragon right there. The first step is to un sheath. Right? Unsheath the straw. Unsheath the straw. The first step is to unsheath. I can't wait to see the comment section on this. <laughs> unsheath the straw. <laughs> it's an art. So you're creating the worm. First you have to create the worm. First you create. But you have to be gentle because you'll like rip right through the worm. This is a this is like a this is like an old episode of Mr. Wizard's World. Right? <laughs> and then you gotta like. Okay, there's the teeny tiny worm. Are you red eye ready, Adam? I'm red eye. Red eye. Let's do it. You're red eye. Whoa! Holy cow, that's crazy. It's like one of those 4th of July firework worms, except it's not. It's like, it's like the straw version. That is crazy. This is like a science experiment happening right between my eyes, or in front of my eyes. If it was happening between my eyes, that would be, that would be <laughs> would really, really disturbing. And I'd be in your bubble. <laughs> 
It looks really like disturbing now. It looks sick. It almost looks like. Is he like mad at you? It looks ill. Is he mad at you? Can you it see looks his face? Ill. Sun's going down, it's almost sunset. Flux capacitor flexing. And I'm with Justin. <laughs> what? I say flex, something. Flux capacitor flexing. Did I say something funny? No. Justin's never seen, I call this the majestic. That's what I called the, well, oh, you almost bottomed out there. Yeah. I call this the well, majestic. I'm bottoming out every day. This is the drone. So we're gonna try to get some sundown shots. It's so majestic. So Justin has never seen the drone. People get upset when I call it a drone, so I say the drone slash quadcopter. He's never seen it in full. What's the difference? I don't know. Well, people say drones are used for bombing, bombing and droning things, where this is more of a quadcopter. Anyway, he has never seen it taken in the air, so I'm going to take it sky high, try to get some sundown shots. I think you might be a, total, a little too late for the sundown. Have you strapped things to this yet? Like, like I don't think that's safe. That's not like... safe. Oh, okay. But let's take it sky high up into the air beautiful Orange County, California, and see what we can see into the nether regions of the stratosphere and the majestic. Start it up, crank it up, there it goes. Now I raise it. And what you're looking at on the screen is what we're seeing in real time. Okay, I've reached the highest altitude, so I am at 500 feet. There it is, look at that beautiful sunset. I forgot my SD card, see this up here? No SD card. So we're improvising and I'm using Justin's phone to film. Now let's just spin around. Where is it? Dude, you can't even see it up there. So I've shifted the drone a little bit. There you go, bam. Okay, now, Keep watching the screen. Okay. Boom. Straight down. I can hear it. That's yeah, it's directly us. above us. It's right there. See it? It's coming. It's coming down. Look. And there we are right there. Look. Ba -bam. This is really meta. This is really <laughs> I'm filming you, filming us with a thingy. Where's us? Those are our feet. There we are! Weird! Hi! Are you ready? Yeah, okay. What are you doing? Hi, out of the woo! Sad egg in the heart park! Wait, are you telling me this sucker is nuclear? I don't know, this sucker's electrical! Dude, that is weird. I really do feel like Marty McFly and Doc Brown right now. Not me, not me! <laughs> check it out, check it out. Wow. Not me, the car, the car! Look at that shot though. Can't Look at this. see it up there. You know what? Look how high up it is. That is so majestic. Can you see it? I don't see it up there. I the cool know. thing about this it has this function. It's called the bring home function. So let's hit return home. Aircraft will land at its current location. We don't want to do that. Let's cancel it. Let's return home. Return home and land. Let's do it. Slide it. It's returning home. 
I'm not gonna touch this. Look, it's gonna do it on its own. It's gonna come right back here to where I calibrated it. I still don't see it. There it is, way up top. There it is. So it's cut. Look, I haven't even touched. The, I haven't even touched the remote. It's coming straight down to where I calibrated it according to the GPS, and it's landing. That's insane. And then we can flip it down. It's coming straight down upon us. And well, there we are. That's just right here. Look at that. That is so weird, man. It's coming down. Come on down. It's a good thing that thing makes noise like a hive of bees. Success. Adam, you're a genius. And I never touched the remote. Can't believe you invented this. This thing flies itself. The cool thing about where I live currently, at least for the next two weeks until I move, is that around nightfall, every night, you can hear the Disneyland fireworks off in the distance. And through the beauty of the quadcopter and the drone, I can get high enough from my home to see the majesticness of the wonderful fireworks. Hope you have a great night, everyone. Thanks for watching this vlog, and I'll see you tomorrow. Vlog over.